All right, I hope you're doing well. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is show you how to compute the expected lifetime of customers from within a particular cohort. So the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is just think back to what the formula is for the expected lifetime of anything. And for any random variable, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to sum over the values that that variable can take on multiplied by the probability that that random variable will have that value. So in this case, customers can churn in periods one, two, three, and so forth. So the expected lifetime of customer is gonna be equal to the sum of the different possible churn times multiplied by the probability that the churn time is that churn time. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, this is gonna be summing over all the different possible values of t. So essentially what I'm gonna to have to first do is create a column. Let's just call it t times the probability that the churn time is equal to t. And this is exactly how it sounds like. I'm just gonna multiply t by the probability that the churn time is t. But remember, in this formula, what we wanna sum over are all the possible values that churn time can take on. And customers could churn after month 12. We see over here, according to our model, we would expect 39% of the, the cohort to still be alive at month 12. So in theory, what we want is for this to, to be a very small number. So imagine that we were to take this out 10 years or 120 months. So I'm just gonna go out to month 120 and I'm getting my model-based expectation for the probability that customers will churn over that 10-month period. I'm then going to get t times the probability that the churn time is t over that period. Now here's the, the tricky part. We see that even when we go out 10 years, we still expect about 12% of the cohort to be alive. And even though I haven't shown it, it's very easy to see from the spreadsheet that if we went out 200 years, there are still 2% of the customers that we would expect to be alive. And we know that's not gonna be true. So whether we like it or not, we're gonna have to override the model at some point. Because essentially, if we leave that completely uncapped, uh, we'll get an extremely large expected lifetime because we expect customers to live for more than 1,000 years. <laughs> so we introduced this notion of a cutoff time. So I'm gonna create this other bucket, and this is gonna represent all the customers who lived uh, to month 120, all 11.6% of them. And what we're gonna assume, basically, is that all customers who lived to this point churn at this point. So we have this t times the probability that the churn time is t, but we're going to modify this to add in a term which is basically equal to, let's call it t cutoff, multiplied by the probability that the churn time is greater than t cutoff, according to our model. And so that would just again be equal to, in this case, 120 multiplied by 11.6%, because that's how many people we expect to, to live beyond that point. Then, given this expression, it's gonna go over here. The expected lifetime of a customer in years is gonna be equal to the sum of all the values over here. Obviously this is in months, so if I want it in years, I'm gonna divide it by 12. 2.26. So that's really all there is to it. 